you about the other way. It's just the uh, only for the carton itself. You have seen you have enough income to keep us alive for centuries. Well, I've been uh, I've been preparing that that green drink that that you like and <laughs> and um, I tell you this this is this one's a winner. The last two were it's better to die than drink. You soon get used to killing Louis. Just forget about that mortal core. You become accustomed to things all too quickly. I have been getting used to butchering those celeries and carrots. Can't you just pretend? You should be happy that we have such a nice home. Such a beautiful home. I love the uh, tapestries on the walls. The um, plush carpeting on the floor. Pretend to drink, at least. Shouldn't have such a fine crystal go to waste. Reddish. <laughs> For, to our health. Stocks are up. <laughs> and Starbucks is doing good this this time of year with their pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> Through the roof. <clears throat> I call it surviving. It's a useful trick if you caught a month at sea. We don't want to get scurvy on our yacht. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in this world now that holds some sort of... Yes, well, I'm getting tired of our little talk. All right, Tanya, you're looking tired. I've got, um, I've got some, uh, got some, uh, cranberry juice in the, um, in the fridge might reinvigorate you. Why don't you come to New Orleans with me? We can try some good sports. Now you're talking. <laughs> we should we should take that vacation. Consider yourself lucky. And Paris, a vampire, needs to be very clever for many reasons. Here, what only one needs is a pair of fangs. It's good that I'm a vegetarian vampire, <laughs> you see. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a little bit of that uh, V8 left in this one. <laughs> nice and salty. <laughs> As did the one who made me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been... Okay, you got me. I've been cutting back, you see. <laughs> it's the thirst. But still, vegetables are important. <laughs> if, you for, if you live forever. I 
I learned absolutely nothing from him. I haven't learned from anything from him either. Other than what it's like to, to live and live and live, and sun goes by each day, moon comes out at night. Why should I know these things? Do you know them? That noise, that noise is driving me mad, that noise! We've been in this country for weeks but nothing but that noise! I told you, they're, they're jackhammering the building next door, <laughs> and we're rich, but we can't just eliminate every problem that comes along. Sometimes we just have to accept it. Is the answers in there? Go and tell the priest. Ask him. <laughs> Priest Gia Con Connolly, right? <laughs> the priest. <laughs> I mean, it's not like me and the Pope are getting along these days. Still get cravings for those cracker jacks. <laughs> <laughs> a little toy, a little um, to stick on. <laughs> you seem, you seem preoccupied. <laughs> I'm on. Listen to me. I'm only going to tell you once and once only. I've not been keeping any secrets from you. I've never laid eyes on God or the devil. I pity the devil if he ever did. The one who made me was mad. That's what happens to the old ones eventually. Where he lasted a couple a few hundred years than most of them. He wanted an heir, and before he threw himself into the fire. He should have, he should have ate his garlic, I... am <laughs> <laughs> telling you. Just because you live forever, you have to, you gotta take care of your health. I witnessed it. He left me to see it. So he went up in flames. I was a newborn. He didn't... I didn't have anyone to guide me, as I am doing for you. You've helped me so much. I love... I love... I love our relationship. I love, I love our um, late night golfing. <laughs> <laughs> I adore the time we spend together, you know, and, and I could spend a good chunk of eternity with you. Thank you for giving me this gift. You're just a small theater in Paris. When you come from provinces like me, it seems splendid enough. He picked me for my yellow hair, or perhaps because it was because of my country youth. I was a good hunter. 
We have to be good hunters, we vampires. We must hunt to survive. That's the biggest drawback. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I, I try to close my eyes when you know, taking a victim. <laughs> the, the, the priest, he says, um, please stop question, asking him questions, that are trivial questions. He's, he's, he's devoted to God, and, and so he doesn't, he's, he's tired of me messaging him. Say, please don't <laughs> message him again. Sure, <laughs> uh, that's what he gave me. And yeah. the castle. And clothes. He gave me such fine clothes. It's worth it. Right? It seems... Well, even if it's not worth it, it is. It's, it's what we got. Yes. We can heal. It may take time, but we always heal. Only the destruction of our bodies will mean the end of us. Like you've seen when you shot me. With your pistol that last night. We can't go, we can't turn into mist, we can't go through keyholes. We're not magical. We're just clever little devils, simple to say. I love scaling, scaling the sides of walls and leaping and doing a 360. And, I, mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's. I am getting hungry, though. I, that's, 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 I, I just... Come to New Orleans with me. There's a Paris opera in town. A real French opera. We can dine in splendor. Ooh. I want to get the little binoculars that you hold with going hand. <laughs> and and, and we'll, we'll have the balcony seats. and uh, It's like the closest... France that I've ever been. You soon run out of chickens, Lily. <laughs>